this is Insanity, and today we're going to be talking about what are good sources for hydration. Recently, we had a video about how to calculate how much water you need to consume on a daily basis. So if you have not seen that, make sure you guys click here and watch that video, learn how to calculate that amount first. Tips on getting enough fluids. This might sound silly, but what you could do is put reminders in your phone to make sure that you are drinking water throughout the day. This will help you create a healthy regimen for drinking water. Next, grab a marker and mark lines on your bottle all the way through it to remind yourself to drink to these amounts throughout the day. So for example, 10 a.m., 12 p.m., 2 p.m., 4 p.m., etc. If you have a reusable bottle, you can just mark it once and keep using it over and over and over. Now, obviously, drinking water is probably the most common way to stay hydrated, but is there any other options? Sports drinks such as Gatorade are a great way to stay hydrated on days that you're training more than an hour straight. After an hour of moderate to vigorous activity, you could consume a sports drink to help replenish your fluids and also give you glucose for immediate sustained energy. If you drink your sports drinks too early, your body starts metabolizing the sugars instead of focusing on your workout. So now your body is literally trying to do two different things. But if you drink the sports drinks after an hour, your body uses it immediately as energy versus storing the sugars. Another great option to stay hydrated is eating your fluids. And no, I don't mean chewing on some water, but chewing on some fruits and vegetables, which are high in water content. But Mr. Fitzanity, what about sodies? Yes, you are right. Soda is a fluid, but it contains many other things such as caffeine. Within the body, there are hormones and regulators that keep the body at a consistent normal. An effect that caffeine has on the body is that it stops a hormone known as antidiuretic hormone, or ADH, from doing its job, which is reabsorbing water in the body to stay hydrated. When it stops the hormone from working, your body will excrete, or urinate, or pee the fluid instead. Soda also contains high amounts of sugars and phosphorus, which are not good for your bone health. So drinking water, which has none of these side effects, is a much healthier option. Thank you guys for watching, and for more videos about health, nutrition, and also dancing, subscribe to Insana TV. Cheers. Thank you for subscribing to Vincenta TV. Hi